Hi and welcome. Today we want to discuss some new upcoming Microsoft Teams updates that Microsoft have just announced. We have five major updates to go through, so let's get started with number one, immersive meetings with Mesh. Microsoft announced that Mesh from Microsoft Teams introduces a new generation of 2D and 3D meeting experiences with personalized avatars and immersive spaces to bridge the gap between physical and digital worlds. Organizations now can use immersive spaces that resemble physical spaces such as conference rooms, design centers, and networking lounges. These spaces are designed with a new hybrid working environment in mind to aid productivity, creativity, and collaboration. What we can see on screen is an immersive space and it is filled with avatars that are connecting and collaborating. Here on this next video, we can see the new personalized avatars. The idea behind this, I think, is to enable you to feel presence in meetings without having or feeling pressure to turn on your camera. Users can make conversations, they can interact and express themselves using live reactions through their avatars. It's kind of a bit like Bitmoji for you Apple users out there. So Mesh from Microsoft Teams avatars are displayed on screen, each showing different outfits, customizations, and expressions. Now these two experiences will be available in preview as part of Teams on PC, mobile, and through mixed reality headsets in the first half of 2022. Our next update is a brand new Teams device. So Microsoft are expanding their portfolio of Teams displays for building out home offices and flexible workspaces in the office. So this is the new Yearlink Desk Vision and it's a 24 inch display and can be used as a standalone device for Teams collaboration or connected to your PC as a second screen. This allows seamless multitasking and allows you to see more content across the displays. This device is expected to be available again in early 2022. The next update we want to discuss is Microsoft Teams bringing new webinar and broadcasting capabilities. For example, their new virtual green room in Teams before your actual event starts. So this is supposed to enable organizers and presenters to socialize, monitor chat and Q&A, manage attendee settings and share content before the event even starts. So Microsoft has said that this provides a private space separate from attendees to talk and prep in the pre-live phase. While attendees wait, they are greeted with a welcome screen and they can use chat to engage or pose questions with the Q&A experience, which we will carry on to next. This feature will be available in preview in early 2022 as well. So with the new Q&A experience, organizers and presenters have the ability to mark best answers, filter responses, moderate and dismiss questions and pin posts, such as a welcome message. The Q&A experience for webinars and meetings will be available in the public preview in November. So with these new capabilities, organizers can now choose which shared content and participants are brought on screen by managing what attendees see during an event. This ensures that attendees will only see shared content and participants that are brought on screen. This feature will be available in early 2022 as well. So next up is Microsoft Teams are creating shared channels and chats as a secure solution to collaborate with external parties. With Teams Connect, they are making it even easier to work with anyone outside your organization while giving system admins a range of controls and tools to ensure security. You will be able to schedule a meeting, collaborate in real time on apps and share channels with up to 50 teams and as many organizations as you need. This is available from the first quarter of 2022. Teams will also enable you to chat with team members with a team's personal account who are outside your organization. You can invite any team user to chat using a personal email address or phone number and remain within the security compliance policies of your organization. Now this should be available by the end of 2021. And these are some great advances for the hybrid working environment, making it easier for everyone to stay in touch and stay connected. Our last update we want to go through is the new chat, people and presence features. The first one we can see here is a new chat with self feature where you have your own personal space to be productive. In this feature you have the ability to write drafts, reminders or just quick ideas that you have. This aims to help you stay organised but can also help you to avoid sending any incomplete messages accidentally. These new capabilities will be rolling out between now and early 2022.
The new chat density feature allows you to customize the number of chat messages you see on the screen with compact settings, allowing you to minimize the need to scroll up and down by fitting 50% more messages onto your screen, whilst keeping the chat display as it is in Teams today. Teams are also introducing 800 plus new 3D emojis from the six that is currently available. These will enable you to have more options to express yourself in response to team messages. We also have delay delivery messaging. Now delay delivery of messages enables you to select a specific time to send your message. Like delay delivery and Outlook, you will be able to send out the message in a time that is convenient to you and the message will arrive to its destination at the time you scheduled. You're also gonna be able to have access to quickly check your colleagues time zone right from their contact card, enabling you to time your messages to get quicker responses. All of these updates work really well with the new hybrid working environment and we are really excited to see these updates roll out at the end of this year to the start of 2022. That's it for today but thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.